stories for bedtime. And car time. And play time. And any time you want to hear how much Jesus loves you in all this world. Even little birds. Hello, this is Pastor Sarah at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Davenport, Iowa. Welcome to this podcast where we tell stories, stories told just for kids and kids at heart. Every week we tell a story about Jesus from the Bible. And for this podcast, you need to bring your imagination. We're going to imagine that there was a little bird in all of those stories a little bird who was friends with Jesus, a little bird who saw all the stuff Jesus did and heard all the things that Jesus said. Podcast friends, this is our 25th episode. Can you believe it? It all started with little bird and Mary, with the angel Gabriel, and we've told all about the life and the ministry of Jesus Last week, Jesus ascended, went up to heaven, and today's story is sort of an ending and also a beginning. It's about the beginning of God's people, the church, doing the work of Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Today's story is about a special day we call Pentecost, and it's a pretty awesome story. So get that super duper imagination of yours ready and listen in to episode 25. Little Bird and the Holy Spirit Pentecost. Little Bird and the disciples, Jesus' closest friends and followers, they were back in Jerusalem, back in that big city. And they were in the very same room where they locked themselves in the weekend that Jesus was killed before they knew he was alive again. And do you know what? Those disciples were still sort of afraid. Jesus had promised them that he'd send the Holy Spirit, the power of God, to work in them. But they didn't know what that would look like or feel like or how it would happen. And things still seemed pretty scary to the followers of Jesus. So they just hung out in that locked room and waited and worried and waited some more. The city was full of people. It was the Jewish festival of Pentecost, which is also called Shavuot, which takes place 50 days after Passover. All kinds of people came to Jerusalem from all over the world to celebrate when God gave the laws to Moses on Mount Sinai. It was a joyous time, a harvest festival, when people would bring their gifts of grain and other things to the temple in offering and thanksgiving to God. All those crowds made the disciples even more nervous. The last time the city was full was when Jesus was killed on the cross. And so they locked themselves up. Little Bird had always been scared to be in Jerusalem. Big cities aren't safe for little sparrows. But she was getting really tired of just sitting around in a locked room. Everyone was sort of bored and tired and scared and sad. They missed Jesus a lot. Little Bird tried to cheer them up. She reminded them that Jesus could be trusted, that the Spirit would come just as Jesus had promised. And there was no need to be afraid or sad but they didn't really pay attention to her beautiful songs. Little Bird even tried to tell them a joke. When's a good time to buy a pet bird? But all they heard from Little Bird was, which is actually the response to the joke. A good time to buy a pet bird is when they are cheap. But the disciples didn't catch any of it. They were lost in their own heads. 
And just when Little Bird had finished counting all of the feathers in her wings and had entered super duper level ultimate boredom, the windows of the house started to rattle with a breeze. Soon that gentle breeze turned into a strong and a powerful wind that whooshed and blew so loud. The doors and the windows suddenly blew right open. Little Bird had her little sparrow talons holding on tightly to the back of a chair so the wind wouldn't knock her over or blow her away. And as the wind blew, she looked at her friends who were shocked at what was happening. And then she saw something even more amazing. There were little flames on each one of their heads, fierce and flashy flames of fire that weren't burning them at all. The disciples looked at each other in awe and wonder. This was it. This was the Holy Spirit coming to them. The Holy Spirit was there in that room. The Spirit was there in each one of them. And that wind kept blowing. And Little Bird realized that this wind, the Holy Spirit, was something she could trust, could rely on, would carry her and lead her just like Jesus did. And so Little Bird let go of that chair she was clinging on to and let the wind of the Spirit hold her. She stretched out her little wings and felt the wind pick her up, carrying her gently up into the air and out the windows, out into the beautiful spring day. And as she relaxed into the Spirit's power, it moved her up into the sky and all around. She had never felt so free and so alive. She flew in its currents, dancing in the strength and the goodness of the Spirit around her and in her. Little Bird looked down from the sky and saw that even though the disciples didn't have wings, the friends of Jesus had been blown right out of the house too. They were out in the streets, those little flames on their heads burning, and they were all speaking boldly and courageously, telling about Jesus and about the awesome things Jesus did and the great big love of God known in Jesus. And then the most amazing thing happened. All the people in those crowded streets from all over the world, they stopped and started to listen to the disciples talk about Jesus. Little Bird heard them say to one another, How is this even happening? Aren't these people from up in Galilee? I'm from Egypt. How are they speaking Egyptian? I know every word they are saying. Little Bird heard another person say, Something amazing is happening here. I'm from Rome, and they are speaking my language. And others from so many other places, they heard the disciples speaking in their own native languages, Greek and Latin and Arabic and Libyan and more. And all those people listened, amazed, not only at Jesus' friends who were speaking boldly in ways that were miraculously heard by so many people in other languages, But they were also amazed at the story they were hearing about Jesus, who came to love and save this whole world. Someone noticed all this happening and didn't believe any of it. They were bewildered and frustrated, and they said, How can these people speak so boldly in languages we all understand? This is impossible! How can this even happen? But Peter with a boldness that Little Bird had never seen before. Peter stood up and said to everyone who was there in those streets, We are filled with the Holy Spirit, the power of God at work inside us. 
the presence of Jesus moving among us and helping everyone to hear. Little Bird was amazed at Peter. He was no longer afraid, no longer timid. He had this new confidence and courage. He spoke to the whole crowd all about God's love for this world and how Jesus was God's own son who came to save and to love this whole world. Peter talked about how Jesus died and was alive again and that he came to make God's dream of love and life real in this world. And then Peter said to the crowd, you can be a part of this amazing life of love and goodness. You can help make God's dream of love real in this world too. You can be part of this joy. Little Bird listened and watched from the sky as the Holy Spirit held her up. She watched as Peter and Jesus' friends lived with new courage and faith. She saw that through them, others were discovering Jesus and finding love and life in him too. They were continuing the work that Jesus started, and the Holy Spirit gave them the power and the strength and the courage to do it. Just as Jesus said, he was with them, and through the Holy Spirit, they were sharing his love with the whole world. Little birds sang with joy and gratitude. Even though Jesus wasn't with them like he had been, because of the Spirit, he was still with them, still loving and saving this world. It was just like Jesus said it would be. Whoa! Podcast friends, this story is full of such drama. Wind and fire and languages spoken and people boldly talking. Did you know that there are followers of Jesus all over the world who speak hundreds of different languages? Do any of you speak more than one language? Maybe you could learn a few phrases in another language. Maybe you can learn to say, Jesus loves you or thank you in sign language or in Spanish or another language. Maybe you could find a friend that speaks another language and learn from them. Or just look on the internet how to say Jesus loves you, and you'll be able to hear it spoken, and you'll learn it. Even though we speak lots of different languages and come from so many different places in this world, every single one of us was made by God and is loved by God. One of the things I love about this story of Pentecost is that it begins with the friends locked up in a room, but the Holy Spirit comes and moves them from fear to courage, from sadness to joy, from loneliness to community, from stuckness into freedom. The Holy Spirit might not be landing like flames on our heads anymore. But the Holy Spirit is in you and in me. It's the power of God in us to help us do those things we might be afraid of or to connect us with people different from us or help us to play and find joy and freedom. So, podcast friends, trust in the Spirit's power, just like Little Bird did, and let that Spirit carry you into all kinds of new adventures. And friends, it's a little bittersweet today because this is our last story before we take a little break for the summer. But don't worry, we'll be back this fall with more stories about Little Bird and Jesus. Now flap your little wings. Sing a little song. And remember that to Jesus, you, you will always belong. Thanks for listening to Little Bird and Jesus. 
a podcast of St. Paul Lutheran Church in Davenport, Iowa. For more information on St. Paul, visit us at stpaulqc.org. Thank you.